explainingmaths.com we're still talking about conversion graphs eh, which are graphs in real life situations and I promised we're going to create our own and what did I say I said well a hundred Thai baht you have to go to Thailand one day it's a beautiful country by the way I lived there for a couple of years fantastic country anyway hundred Thai baht is roughly three American dollar eh? I just checked it on the internet it's roughly the same create conversion graph yeah and find out how many dollars is worth 40 baht, 70 baht, 110 baht. Now I know some of you say, oh, I don't need a conversion graph to do that. Yes, but it is still necessary that you need or that you are able to, to create those types of graphs and they can be very useful. Okay, so of course I want to have or use as much paper as I can for my graph because then I, uh, it will be easier for me to use it. So 100 Thai bots. I'm going to do the Thai bots on my horizontal axis because I have most space here and I'll do my dollars vertically and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 centimeters and I have 100 Thai bots and my highest value is 110. Well that is fantastic. So I can say 10 bots. 20 baht, 30, 40, eh, 50 baht, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I have to decide upon a scale that I use as much of my axis as possible, yeah? Because the smaller you graph these things, yeah, the more difficult it is to, to answer questions about your graph, yeah? So you want to be using a lot of space, okay? Same for the dollars. Um, we have three US dollars. It's gonna be a little bit more. So how much, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, I could do one, two, three, four. Look at that, okay. So my conversion graph, yeah? I'm gonna connect 100 baht to three American dollars. So 100 baht is gonna be three US dollars. One, two, three over there. But that's only one point, but I need two points to draw a line. Well, hopefully you realize that zero baht is gonna be zero dollars, yeah? And if you don't agree with me, please tell me to which bank you are going to, because I wanna go there too, yeah? Zero baht is zero US. So I can draw my line, and you do that with a sharp pencil there. I have a thick uh, marker, so that is not ideal but otherwise you can't see what I'm doing. There we go, that's a conversion graph. Beautiful, okay. 40 baht, 70 baht, 110 baht, I gotta use my graph. 40 baht, let's start there. So I go to 40 baht, and um, I go up, hey, come on guys, thank you. I go up to my graph, and I go into that direction. Oh, and then, I can read exactly, if I use a sharp pencil uh, and a ruler, I can read exactly how many dollars uh, that is going to be. And um, 150, well that is going to be 120, yeah? So that is going to be one dollars and 20 cents. So that is one, I should put a unit there, and 20 cents. What about 70 baht? I'm gonna do the same thing. So I go to 50, 60, 70. I go up to my graph and accuracy is important here. So again, I emphasize always sharp pencils and rulers. Yeah. And um, what is that? It's going to be, check my skill, two dollars and 10 cents. So, two dollars and 10 cents. What about 110? So I go to 110. And while I'm doing that, I already want to tell you that you should like and share this video if it was useful. You should check my site for more free resources. And the next videos are going to be about distance and speed time graphs, which are other real life applications of graphs and you can expect questions uh, about them on your exam, I'm sure. Um, let's see, 110, so, so this looks quite horrible. That is not very perpendicular. It should be a little bit lower, okay? So I apologize for that. Uh, but if I look at it, 
it's going to be so it's three dollars and thirty cents. All right, there we go. So conversion graphs uh, are used to yeah to convert basically one unit into the other. Yeah? Where in my previous video I had the example of a taxi fare. Yeah, how much do I have to pay um, the taxi driver when I uh, drive a particular distance? Good. Check my site explainingmaps.com. Otherwise, quickly go to the next video about distance time graphs. I'll see you there. Bye bye.